at least 16 people, mostly policemen, were killed by multiple explosions caused by a fire in an ammunition store at a Pakistan police station. The explosions leveled a specialist counter-terrorism station in Swat Valley. The town is situated in the northwestern region of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, which neighbors Afghanistan. The incident came amid a string of high toll militant assaults on the police, many linked to the domestic Taliban branch, and had initially sparked fears of a fresh attack. But the police said a short circuit in a basement storing grenades and other explosives was the cause of the blast. <laughs> Small fires blazed in the darkness at the site of the explosion since the start of the year. Two attacks on large police bases have been linked to the Pakistan Taliban known as the Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan. On Twitter, Pakistan Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif initially described Monday's blast as a suicide attack. Late at night, he tweeted an update saying that the nature of the blast is being investigated. In January, a suicide bomber detonated his vest in a mosque inside a police compound in the northwestern city of Peshawar. More than 80 officers were killed as the building collapsed and rained down rubble on worshippers. The following month, five were killed when a TTP suicide squad stormed a police compound in Karachi, prompting an hours-long shootout. The TTP have long targeted law enforcement officials who they accuse of conducting extrajudicial executions. Pakistan has witnessed a dramatic uptick in attacks in the past few months. Islamabad says offensives are being launched from Afghan soil. It's an allegation that Kabul denies. Now for more on this, we're now being joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik from Islamabad. Thank you so much for joining us, Anas. What can you tell us of the situation on ground currently? Well, what we know so far, Haim, is that at least 16 people have lost their lives. That is confirmed. And over 50 people are injured uh, in what is a mystery of an explosion that has taken place uh, in Sawat's Kabul area in Pakistan's northwest. Now, while investigations into the matter are ongoing, uh, the police officials say that the explosions were believed to be triggered due to a short, a short circuit uh, in the basement where the ammunition and explosives were kept. And that is the reason multiple explosions were heard, as a reason of which the entire police station uh, was destroyed. It, the wall came down and a lot of people were branched or stuck under the debris. Uh, they were rescued. And that is the reason we're seeing the number of deaths, uh, death toll going up. Uh, though uh, the police are a bit uh, uh, skeptical to say even now or conclude a final conclusion even now as I talk to you, they say that they are also looking into the terrorism aspect. They're yeah. not ruling it out, but uh, they say that they believe that it could have possibly been a short circuit that triggered the entire uh, chain of events. Him. All right, Anas, well, thank you so much for bringing us the latest on this. We will, of course, continue to track the developments very closely here. Moving on now, terror group Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan has waged an insurgency in the country for 15 years. As Pakistan struggles with an economic crisis, fallout from deadly floods, and an ever turbulent political scene, the TTP threat presents yet another challenge. While separate from Afghan Taliban, the TTP shares a similar hardline ideology and is often referred to as the Pakistani Taliban. Angered by Pakistan's cooperation with Washington in the war on terrorism, the TTP, it was officially set up by the Pakistani militants in 2007. Different outlawed groups agreed to work together against Pakistan and support the Afghan Taliban, who were fighting the United States and NATO forces. 
In November, the TTP unilaterally ended a ceasefire with the government after the failure of months of talks hosted by Afghanistan's Taliban rulers in Kabul. Now, the TTP it has repeatedly warned police not to take part in operations against its fighters in Peshawar, in the capital of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. The TTP is a separate group, but a close ally, as I mentioned earlier, of the Afghan Taliban. But the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan in August 2021, it emboldened the TTP, which shares the group's ideology. Pakistan says the Afghan Taliban started openly sheltering TTP when they came to power, as, the, as per the Pakistani government, the Afghan Taliban also released TTP leaders and fighters who had been arrested by previous administrations in Kabul. The Afghan Taliban has sought evidence from Pakistan on allegations of helping TTP. In January, a suicide bomber detonated his vest in a mosque inside a police compound in northwestern city of Peshawar. More than 80 officers were killed as the building collapsed and rained down rubble on the worshippers there. The following month, five were killed when a TTP suicide squad stormed a police compound in the southern port city of Karachi, prompting hours-long shootout here. Now, to understand this better, for more on this, we're now being joined by Dr. Hamid Al Mashraki from London. Thank you so much. He is a journalist and an international affairs expert. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. How do you assess the situation in Pakistan currently, also the multiple challenges from various fronts? Uh, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Yes, there is no doubt that Pakistan is facing multiple challenges, including the economical challenge and then the political turmoil. And uh, yes, there is a lot of threat from security, uh, you know, aspect as well. And we have seen, as you have mentioned in your report, that there are many, uh, you know, attacks on Pakistani terrorism attacks as well. But the only thing is that, uh, I mean, uh, as far as Pakistan security forces are concerned, they are keep repeating it. They are very well determined to, uh, you know, to uh, control the terror, the new wave of terrorism in Pakistan, and that's why uh, last month there was a, uh, you know, there was a meeting of, uh, of Pakistan Security Council, and they mm. decided to launch a new operation against these, uh, you know, uh, 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 new terrorist attacks, and uh, they wanted to, you know, to have some kind of sting of, uh, you know, operations, and uh, they wanted to plan some kind of you know, uh, more uh, security and fences over the border of Afghanistan. And at the same time, they have very much officially, uh, you know, complained with the, uh, you know, Afghan officials that uh, they are facilitators of TTP are in Afghanistan and they are getting help from other anti-Pakistan countries as well. And that is the Pakistan's narrative that, I mean, unless they are not, get, they will keep getting the support from other countries in the region who wants to have sabotaged the peace in Pakistan. Uh, it is very hard for Pakistan to maintain the peace. But at the same time, Afghan government should honor uh, their promises that the Afghanistan soil will not be used uh, as a proxy right. for any country. So that is a very important point. At the same time, Pakistan uh, you know, is facing other challenges. Right, absolutely. Uh, now, Doctor, uh, also I wanted to understand the explosions, just for clarity here, the explosions, these level the specialist counterterrorism station here. We've seen an uptick in attacks in the past few months as well. What do you think has triggered this recent wave of attacks? Uh, I mean, it is very obvious that when, uh, you know, uh, when the, these organizations are, uh, can see that the Pakistan is uh, politically destabilized, economically, you know, uh, shaking and economical situation is very critical. So they find it as an opportunity uh, to achieve their goal, to have uh, some kind of control on certain areas. And I believe that um, security forces uh, are very much working against these terrorist uh, attacks. And we have seen that they have arrested so many terrorists in the last two, three weeks. And then they have uh, some uh, counter, uh, you know, encounters with those terrorists as well in the Balochistan area, in, in northwest province areas as well. Uh, so it is uh, the opportunity they are trying to, uh, uh, you know, take advantage of the current situation in Pakistan. Uh, but I, I, I think so that, I mean, it's not as dangerous as, as it has been, uh, you know, uh, I should say propaganda. Rather, yes, there is no doubt that this, uh, if it carries on, it will be very, uh, very much dangerous for the Pakistan's right. peace and security. Right. Now, also, 
as I mentioned earlier as well, Pakistan says that the Afghan Taliban started openly sheltering the TTP. You made the point as well. And how do you think this can be countered? Also, another point here, the Afghan Taliban, they've sought evidence from Pakistan on these allegations. What's your take on this? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, to be honest, uh, I, I mean, Pakistan was never expecting uh, openly Afghan government sheltering uh, the TTP, uh, you know, leadership or TTP members who are, you know, doing the terrorism on Pakistan soil. And Pakistan have provided a very solid evidences and Pakistan keep providing the solid evidence. There is no more solid evidence than the suicide bombers their bodies, there is no more solid evidence when they got killed in an in encounter with security forces. Pakistan and government have shared their data, have shared their identities with Afghan government and they have been, you know, identified as either Afghan nationals or just crossed the border just two, three days before their attack to the security forces. So Pakistan have uh, provided sufficient evidence and I believe that this is what uh, Afghan government needs to take in count and consider that if, uh, you know, this terrorism will uh, spread in Pakistan, it will be, it will flash back in Afghanistan as well. Hmm. We have very weak government at the moment. Hmm. I mean, it's not like Afghan Taliban are controlling the whole Afghanistan. We know there are, uh, you know, multiple, uh, you know, center of powers in Afghanistan, in North Province, some other, uh, you know, groups are controlling Afghanistan. In Eastern Province, other groups are controlling. And Afghan Taliban are trying to maintain their control. But if they will not be able to control uh, the TTP, uh, eventually uh, it will harm them as well. All right. Well, Dr. Al Mishraki, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast with your insights on this. Thank you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.